Hello. How's it going? Hello. The era lived underground for centuries. I thought in this a was like a sky game. Like we're up in the subterranean, like flying up in the subterranean sky. Subterranean level. How is it subterranean if they're in the sky? It became the richest city in the world. Two words. Um, hipster bullshit. Goddamn hipsters. If the wild. What's gonna happen right here? How's it going, everyone? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Oh, ah. Is that a sound effect coming into your controller? It did sound like that, didn't it? Yeah. The army's triggers once and there's no way this game had that originally coded in because this game first came out in the 360, and the 360 controller didn't have a, a speaker in it, you know? Ooh. So yeah, it's coming out of there. Do you, do you want me to stop? <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just inspecting it. <laughs> No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's just that I, I'm surprised that, they, that for a port they would bother putting that in. Because like I said, this was originally a 360 yes, game. I know. Which I... didn't have a speaker on the controller. Blam. Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Oh, so wait, it wasn't, it wasn't doing that last, like, no, earlier, it wasn't. was it? Maybe, maybe it was an update, I don't know. Like, what, what just now while, the, while we were on break? <laughs> yes, Dev. Exactly. All right. Exactly. I guess that's what fucking happened, dude. It ain't done. Get Dev a blindfold so I can challenge him. Oh yeah, I I put in an emote of uh, Pepe on the toilet. So me? <laughs> Basically. Jesus, you do shit like twelve times a day, don't you? It's in my blood. No, it's not. It's in your ass. There's blood. There's blood on my ass. <laughs> Oh god. Of course it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Oh, is this that awesome song? Just Everyone shut up. As he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Yeah, listen to this, dude. This is like this is the song that this game is known for. Awesome. I've actually considered making this song my uh, ringtone. Grand it's, like, it's like waking up. Not ringtone, but like waking up alarm clock. Yeah. Things eager to take back their turf. Kid don't want to miss this train. I'm the train, Dave. Rifle kind of sucks to be honest. Like that lar that long charge time. Yeah. Kid lets a few slip by. Lunkhead settled in like they own the place. Thank God this thing's powerful enough. Don't do I'm not sure if I've heard the original Japanese one. Send it to me on on Discord. Sure, I'm kind of curious. Boom! Expensive footwork on the rail. What with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. Now the song is is called Spike in the Rail. Yeah, it's oh. reminds me of uh, like ZZ Top, you know, country, you know, Texas, yeah. Texas blues. If you release the rifle early, it, the shot fires inside the line somewhere. So you're just like basically lowering the the randomness. Okay. Don't fucking die. Drink your drink your juice. You can't, you can't just like. Bah! Well, some enemies you can. Well then, choose different gun. <laughs> Change weapon. I can't. What? Why not? You choose it at the bastion. That's some bullshit ass bullshit. If I ever heard it. Why'd you choose it? Because it was part of the level and it makes you choose it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you don't have a choice there, brother. The place used to be closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Yeah, <laughs> pineapple. Pineapple. That's how they used to make the bind video. Yeah. Of course, the Grand Rail seemed much more fight than time. I got time. Yeah, this thing kind of sucks. I'm gonna go back to um, dueling pistols. 
No. Oh, I'm going go back when I get an old fashioned musket. Yeah. Shotgun, man. Boom. boom. Is that like, like Maki or Mochi? Fired in the yeah. Mochi. Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, you're getting owned. Yeah, um. It was right here. You've actually gotten mochi from the, the dollar store. Have you? Forget it or not. Good old dollar store mochi. It's okay. It's <laughs> as good as the stuff you get in the uh, like the Japanese. Dude, the is, it, is it as good as those dollar store burgers you get? <laughs> those even dollar store. Those are almost. Ex those are basically as expensive as regular burgers. I, I can yeah. go to McDonald's and get it cheaper. Yeah, the, the inflation has basically ruined that to the point that you might as well actually go to McDonald's. Because you'll get a burger that is unironically better for you at McDonald's for the same price. Yep. It's bullshit. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, Azuki Bean okay, Moshi, so uh, I definitely have had it. It's quite good. Can't say I've had it, you know? That was bad. Um, it's pretty hard to find unless you're uh, ordering stuff from overseas. Yeah. Or uh, I guess maybe you can get from Sukoshi Mart, which is in southern Ontario. Yeah, but when are we going there anytime soon? Fucking COVID central. No, no, you order online, Dev. Oh. Yeah. That was it. Winners slash home sense. Yeah. That was it. What do you use to swing your YouTube channel like this? Um, Streamlabs. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Blam. Grab that. Or you don't even need it. <laughs> I want it. I'm taking it. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for me. Right, let's go. Let's ride the rail, Dave. Wood there on the rails turn it into swamp weed central. Da -da 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 swamp thing central. Da -da -da -da. I like blues. Old Delta blues. Never tried. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it so much, I even have a. Uh, Glass slide and glass slide, wow up pedal and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think. Oh, it ain't fun. No, I, I do have I do have uh, glass slide, which is dope. Slide guitar, slide guitar. No, actually, is, that was person. It no. is a popular thing to use for Delta blues. What is that, Dave? Your fucking, your your sleazy salesman voice. You gotcha. <laughs> you betcha. Dave's next job after this will be uh, selling used cars of dubious quality Excellent. and recording his own public access commercials for the car lot. Now I want to say to you all, he had uh, David, David's a cheap crash emporium. I want to say. Ah! <laughs> I want to say ah! I want to say ah with you. <laughs> Oh, what excellent prices we have. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and, of course, you have to make it as cheesy as possible, right? You have some, like, you know, the Dave gets, like, the youngest, hottest employee he has, who's really, in real life, only, no, no, I, I've got, only I, like, six out of ten to be there with him. No, no. Just no, say no, nothing. No, I'm going to have, like, old school, like, like the, 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 the bikini models, <laughs> you know, uh, like, washing the cars. Washing the cars. So. Like, like the movie Dirty Work, where they, uh, they're they filming a commercial, and there's, like, a dead body, and they, 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 just, they put hookers in the trunks of the cars yeah. to make them look like they were dead. And like, oh, my God. God, a dead hooker. <laughs> and the, uh, the, the like the swipes in the commercial will, will be like you like going whoo and like this is like a really shitty blur effect and like a like, oh, a, like yeah. a whoosh like, oh, a, like a big sound effect. Oh, you got knocked out. Damn, that sucks. You got you take it for a ride. In fact, dinner, dinner. Or like the logo, the, the logo will like appear in the corner and like spin in with like with like a, with like a fading trail behind it, and it'll go and then it'll go boom. It's like Dave's it's gonna, face. It's gonna use it's cars. Gonna, it's gonna use sound effects and music from from uh, TV shows completely illegally, <laughs> and no one will ever know because it's so shit here. This baby's got half a million horsepower. <laughs> That's a correct number, right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> You know, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more curious to see you do come that on, kind of Come character. on down. Oh, Refinancing. Refinancing? I don't know. 
<laughs> Give me all your money. Yeah, power but level effects. Free dead hookers in every trunk. Or, dude, do you remember when I did Coomer Chronicles and I had that bit where, like, it's like a rotating oh. cube? <laughs> the rotating, like the cheesy rotating cube effect of like a video. It'll be like that. It'll be like, like you'll be like, come down to Dave's lot, and then you'll just like stand there awkwardly as the cube like slowly rotates out and rotates for like a minute, then rotates back in like a different scene. It sounds like you actually plan this out for yourself, like, like an alternate life path for you. One of many Italian job series is car sales. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, Dave is a comb over. <laughs> See, see, here's the thing. Dave's like, I gotta, you know, I, it's not in my family to lose my hair, but I gotta look the part. So you like purposely shave the middle of your head like, I, you know, and I, give yourself a comb I thin, over. I thin, I thin out. Oh my god. <laughs> so basically, when I when, when I was uh, Tobias Fionke for Halloween, <laughs> you purposely give yourself the shittiest comb over you can possibly manage. <laughs> I'm not doing this, by the way. I'm not actually doing this because I think it's more of a dev problem. He wolfs down too much too fast, what? and it all goes to his head. It's like Crone with the poi? <laughs> what the hell? Man, you know what? I kind of want to see, like, really shitty computer salesmen take on the mantle kid, of shitty car salesmen. Wrapped up in all this. You mean besides the comb-overs? No, 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 let him have the comb-over. But he's like some, some greasy fucking computer nerd who, like... Slams the top of a computer and he's like, 60 FPS? This guy can do 85, 90 FPS even. I'm sorry, Dad, but there's been <laughs> so much snake oil in the computer business do, for so don't long. Don't worry, we got double LED power. It's like, just like constantly just spouting buzzwords to try and get some poor mom to buy her kid this shitty computer. Oh, God. Wait, wait if, what, if, what if they're like grossly behind the times, though? They're, right. talking about, they're talking about like Pentium 3s and stuff. <laughs> Pentium 3s. Dave, you're literally just coming Best Buy. <laughs> That's true. Am I weird to think your video with Dave made him l not only look younger, but better too, whereas now he looks like an aging hipster? To be honest, the reason that Dave looks as old as he does right now is, one, because you're really letting the, the gray in your beard grow. Yep. And two, because the long hair does it. Yep. The long hair makes you look much older than you actually are right now. Oh, well. I think you'd probably, at this point, you'd probably look at least a few years younger if you had short hair again and you didn't have a beard. Yep. But I was wondering. I don't care. <laughs> and the liver damage. <laughs> and the liver damage. Except for the brain damage. It was like a 67 year old. <laughs> Fuck off. Folks were orphaned in the war. Taken in and Bring back punished state. bearded dev. The condition they would never return to the terminal. There were refugees who came into the city. Yeah, like I don't think you've aged ten years in the past year. I think it's a, a product of your long hair. I really do, mm -hmm. because like there. So, so for example, there was that one video that we looked at that was like, we're starting a gaming channel like eight years ago or whatever, and it's you on the couch and you're like looking at your phone and you look pretty young there compared to what you look at now. Yeah. And it's like, well, of course it was fucking eight years ago. Like people age. It's how it is. But then like I look at a video of you like a year ago, you know. And it's like, wow, you have aged a lot in the past year. Jesus, what the fuck happened? And I realized nothing actually happened. It's just your hair. Yep, it's yeah. the hair. You're not, you're not actually, like, decaying before our very eyes any more than normal. Which is a fair bit. <laughs> Which is a fair <laughs> bit. Are you actually starting to feel it? Are you starting to feel your age at this point? I definitely feel a lot more injuries. But that's because I already had injuries, so. Yeah. Some days. Actually, no, not, not, now that it's getting like, colder and stuff, yes, I am feeling it more. Yeah. Oh yeah. All the all the bullshit, all the See, arthritis, like rheumatism, and yeah. shit. I, I have to admit, not so much for me. Like this joint hurts a little bit every once in a while because I, I crack it all the time. And sometimes if I, if I've been typing for a long time, this elbow will hurt if I've been typing for like hours and hours and hours. And that didn't used to happen before. So there's a little bit of like, oh, I'm getting older. But like in terms of like how I feel like on, on like a like, like a just just your, like average day to day, you know, I feel the same as I did when I was 20. You know, mm. I feel just as like just. So as, you worked out. So you worked out, and you said you said like how much how much in pain you are. I, I was when like, you're younger. No, when no, no, no. When I was 20, I worked out. I felt in pain too. <laughs> I just fucking did it. It's all good. Yeah. 
Force. I'm just absorbing your life force. <laughs> the first hernia. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that that was that was yeah. legit. Well, because you were you were on your ass for like a year after that, man. After you, after you had your first hernia. Yeah, it was great. Took to study in the arts. Twitter elbow. More through music than history books. Scrolling too much in the scroll wheel. It's like, and eh, eh. That does <laughs> do it a bit. Yeah, that's usually what fucks me over after a while. You're only as young as the woman you feel. Thankfully, Naomi's younger than I am. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, Bruce. Like, when I was 20 and I was working out, I felt just as sore as now. That hasn't changed. I get more random aches now, but not much more, you know? And a lot of it definitely does, is a product of me being overweight. So I don't feel old yet. I don't feel young, but I don't feel old. I don't, I don't feel like actually old, but I definitely feel more. It's funny because my mom's in her 60s and she's like, I'm so young. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> no. No, you're not. You, you have a full ass head of gray hair. Ma'am. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage and she grew fond of him. And if you only until I had kids, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Dave, you getting ready for your third hernia? Sure. Dude, what is this soy face dragon? It's like, oh! Dragon, dragon, soy dragon. Consume! Meet his burger! Meet his burger! take him to a family den to meet a Star Wars! Doctor Who! So I guess they're talking about how this girl is like a mixed nation whatever the fuck i don't know the story of bath part one every time i like one time i'm not going to dress him upside down i like to command just sit right there and have a little bit of a for this fight, you face Twitch's shitty replacement for the Pog Champ emote. Yeah, that's right. The, the, you've noticed this, right? The, the, look at that snake in the chat. See the snake face? Yeah. That's Pog Champ now. That's Pog Champ. Because the guy, the Asian guy that was Pog Champ for like 12 years, he said some, some uh, politically yeah, incorrect man, things in 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah. Native language Fucking stupid. To be used by foreigners to do so. Is a terrible insult. And his name is Gutex, and he he was more famous for Pog Champ than he ever was for anything else. I have a feeling that a lot of millennials, a lot of millennials who have kids, they're gonna be pissed the fuck off in ten to fifteen years when their children are not, like, radical leftists the way that they want them to be, because kids rebel when they go into their teen years. Oh. How could they have gone wrong? Like, family ties, only the opposite. Man. Actually, we know it's not. It's exactly family ties was. Hippie parents with a, with, with a conservative son. Then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. <laughs> God, they're back. Star Trek! New Star Trek is good! Spend all your money! Yeah, happens to everyone. Bastards. See, oh Jesus Christ, dude, you're getting air juggled. This is like fucking tech and you're getting air juggled. I don't like it either. So yeah, like, I've noticed that a lot of people who are in, say, oh, they're in like apolitical spaces, right? And they say non-leftist things, they get canceled. So like, John Trump, obvious example, right? This Gutex, obvious example, right? Okay. However, people in politics, they can be non-leftists and not get canceled because they're already on the outside by virtue of being non-leftists and yet they still build their audience on the outside. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Mm. 
Nice, good job. Thank you. Succeeded. God, what a pain in the, the ass. Already there Problem is that this this secondary balls. attack I have is kind of useless against these things. Oh, the jump? Yep. Yeah. Um, Bruce Nee, they showed, as far as I understand, they showed the holodeck being used for porn twice in Trek, okay? The first one, it was in Next Generation, where Riker, he's like, there's, there's this telepathic woman who makes everyone fall in love with her, and Riker has to, like, deliver her from point A to point B, and he does so, and then he goes to the holodeck, and he's like, I'll be in the holodeck, don't disturb me, I'll be, I'll be out in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> like, that's the joke, right? Um, and then the second one was in Lower Decks. Where in Lower Decks, Boimler is tasked with cleaning up the Holodeck's, um, <laughs> the Holodeck's biofilter. Yes. And it's just like everyone's fucking cum. She and her father yeah. It's like, all right, yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 Yep. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Oh, yeah, and of course, DS9, the entire part of DS9 is that uh, Quark, Quark rents out Hollow Suites for sexual fantasies. You think so, Bite Ninja? Father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den. Luxana Troy uses Locks it to take Alexander to Epstein's Island. What? Oh god oh god. <laughs> Computer, engage early 20th century Call of Duty lobby settings. I mean, I mean, 21st century? Disable swearing and racism filters. <laughs> Fuck. That's too bad, Morphbox. That's such, such, such really enjoyable. I really enjoy Star Trek. I think, in terms of just pure TV shows, it's probably my favorite. The, the entire series, as a whole. God, even this fat flower is a soy mouth. Did we just kill him already, you fucking vampire? Thank you. <laughs> she was told. To in here, down fuck underground bro. inside that den. Fuck she found a journal written in her father's hand. <laughs> yeah, Torvar. I just realized. Vampires are like sex offenders. Uh -huh. For them to be part of society, they have to, like, starve themselves, and you can't trust somebody to starve themselves for the good of somebody they don't know. You know what I mean? That seems about right. Why? Why are you trying to... <sighs> what? <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly! They didn't know what was going on. Look, listen, you, you fucking armchair philosophers. How about you just give it a rest already? Especially, especially because they... They know that society will still hate them even if they make the sacrifice. Well, so I hate like, you. So they're like, fuck it. And she saw the <laughs> all around her. What? <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured out that vampires are metaphor for sexuality, but also, like, it, it really is, isn't it? When the kid wakes up. Is that why you like those games so much? No. <laughs> I think that was being molested. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Freaking almost this one's thinking that vampires are ultimately monsters because blood is a black market. If vampires actually existed, they should probably just buy blood. Yeah. Pretty much. That makes sense, you know. At least in modern society. Yeah, they're also comparable to drug addicts as well, yeah. Need an awful 
Yeah, they are compared. I've tried to get the Vampire RP to keep going, but Arch won't do it. But they are comparable to drug addicts, yes. Like the whole the whole addiction thing, needing to do it. No, it's just like... Okay. We're going to have the uncomfortable conversation. No. Just fucking hear me out. No. Okay, just hear me out. Okay? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. no. So, people rightfully hate pedophiles, right? For good reason. No one here is going to simp for a pedophile. No. From his point of view, from, from the pedophile's point of view, which, by the way, we don't really need to consider because fuck pedophiles, but from the pedophile's point of view, if he's going to be hated whether he does it or not, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yep. I don't, I don't have to say the rest of it, do I? No. <laughs> no, wait I'm a minute, you Devin, no. <laughs> I'm giving you one word answers for a very good reason, Devin. <laughs> Sweet Christ. Would be a hot take. Basically, it's like within his own and within within the pedophile's own internally logic. Within his own logic, it makes sense for him to do what he do, even though he's a monster. Do what he do. Do what he does, even though he's a monster. Basically. Do what he do. Don't go full Sargon. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th that's one thing I realized uh, as well. Um, Saucy Pup, Dev, I tried this exercise before. It's impossible to talk about. Yeah, there are, there are some conversations where you can have the most reasonable take, but the very act of even talking about it is itself the sin. Yeah. Well, because I'm, I'm relating that to vampires because vampires are the same way, right? If you have a vampire who will never suck the blood of a human, he will still be hated by humankind for what he is. Even though he doesn't actually indulge in the crime. You know what I mean? So from his point of view, he's like, well, fuck it. If you're going to hate me for something, I might as well fucking do it then. Fuck you, you know? Which is, all, which is terrible for all involved. But you can understand him. Even though he's fucking terrible. Yes, that, that is also a difference, Yarn. That is also a big fucking difference. A big fucking difference. Oh, dude, look, look at the riot in the chat. <laughs> all those burning torches. <laughs> what are you done? <laughs> Absolute schmuck. What what hath you done, sir? Oh no, everyone's raising their dongers. That's an old fucking meme. Raise your dongers. 15% damage. Yeah, why not? Bull brandy is thicker than paint. But yeah, you know what? Like, every single vampire story does the whole this is actually about sex and drugs. Like rock and roll. Well, <laughs> You know what I mean, though, right? Like, it's very clear that, like, they're they're making a statement about, like, unsafe sex and about drug use and about, like... Every vampire story has. Every vampire yeah, and everything. Yeah, but it's also, it's also the cra craving, yes. like, addiction. It's also about the, you know, philosophy uh, of figuring Hold on, no, out... no, we're wrong, we're wrong. Hmm. There is at least one vampire where it's not about that at all. Oh, yeah? Uh, the Count from Sesame Street. No, he's addicted to counting. That guy's pretty chill, though. No, he's addicted to counting. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. He's things? also counting his victims when he's doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I figured he was just pretty, like, a, you know, straight edge. No, Dev, I, I know the deep lore. Oh, is that a deep lore? He's been sucking Ernie dry for years. <laughs> he's been <laughs> They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes. Said too much. The Jim Henson Foundation's coming after me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Blade, but, like, other all. characters in the Blade movies were, were the, the people that I'm describing, you know? Apparently, well, at least it's in, like uh, so Castlevania, like the Castlevania series, or Dracula in general, it's, you know, trying to defy God while also yeah. trying to retain whatever humanity existed with yeah. the vampire at, at one point. So, hold on. It takes a certain stubborn pride. Apparently, it's surprisingly hard for pedophiles who are who are trying not to offend to get therapy. Honestly, I don't even know what possible therapy you could get. I have no, I have no knowledge um, of this at all. As for us, we hypnotherapy. A lot, well, a lot. Hypnotherapy. Like, well, a lot of a lot of pedophiles have been blessed themselves. So they true. Might, yeah. might be repressed memories. Okay. But how will that make them want to stop doing it themselves? Because they can process what happened to them and try to use their their own memories. Uh, and their own experiences as a, as, a, as a method to say no to their desires 
and to hopefully convince others that their desires are wrong. Mm. You tell sure, I've actually worked with pedophiles before, and I don't mean like... Pedophilia is almost completely untreatable. They don't respond well to almost any form of therapy, and it's actually a pretty huge issue. Damn. Yeah, what do you do with people like that? Or like, it's, or like they, they, they haven't done anything yet, but they're just fucked beyond fucking repair. Um, well, <laughs> that depends on jurisdiction. <laughs> you kill them, says Joe Hoth. <laughs> it's one way of dealing with them. Also, yes, Dave did just say he has worked with pedophiles before. That means exactly what you think it means. I used to work in social services. <laughs> and yes, they disgusted me as much as they disgust you. Yeah. Yeah. Because one of those things like, oh, this person's really friendly. Like, yeah, they, 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 they're like convicted pederast, dude. Eight-year-olds, dude. And then, like, because of the well-earned reputation of pedophiles, you have such overcorrections sometimes that, like, if you walk, if you're walking down the road, let's say you're walking down the road, and you see a really hot chick, and you're like, "Oh, dude, like holy fuck!" And it turns out she's 17, and she turns 18 in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, does that make you a pedophile now? No. No. But, like, like, and here's the thing: if you knew, you wouldn't do anything. Obviously, right? Does it make you a pedophile now? No. But there'd be some people who are like, "You fucking sick motherfucker! How the fuck dare you?" Like, I'm calling the cops right away. So shut the fuck up, God. Well, that's but that's one of those things where. Um, you know the person the person of interest you can is cook those things but you can't so close biologically to at least adult maturity yeah that it's not really replaceable especially when you got these girls going like young underage girls mm -hmm. going into these clubs and stuff like that like, you know that that whole yeah, they, legal they, they, morass but they, they, have, they, they have a fake idea and but there's like, a difference between that there's a difference between a couple weeks and like you know a fucking 9 year old <laughs> yeah avalon yeah i know what you mean Oh god. <laughs> Remember that fucking video where you went on a date with a nine year old? You mean the you mean you mean the Kodomo yeah. the Kodomo review that I, I had I put up and I put up I put up the <laughs> The whole the whole point of the video was to show just how fucking weird it is. Like what like everyone's like, oh lollies dude, there's oh they're so pure and it's like no, this is what a nine year old actually looks like. They're fucking tiny, shut up. You're gross. Yeah. That was, was the point of the video. It was it was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny though. Yeah, for you, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> Probably because you're jacking off to it. Whatever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dave. <laughs> That's been ousted. <laughs> no, it was, it was just, it was just awkward nice because... Uh, I mean... <laughs> I honestly didn't know what to talk to this kid about. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, dude, what the hell do we have in common? <laughs> it's like Justin Bieber. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah. Okay, guys, guys. This is a this is a video that went up in two thousand and nine. This yeah. is this is. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about it many times in the show. This is not like a big revelation. Nope. That's true though. Yeah. Kodomo no Jiken has an actually really. Uh, it has like a very, a very strong anti-pedophile message when you yeah. really, when you really watch the whole thing. Yeah. But we like, didn't give it's a, a fucking terrible show. It's so <laughs> it's creepy. Fucking awful. You need to cease and desist. <laughs> Super Lesbian, the anime reviews are back online. Yeah, they're they're up. I put Dave I, uploaded them all to. Uh, I put them on the Dev Bitch. Kit. Dev, the Dev Kit on BitChute, Rumble, and Brighteon. Not necessarily. Oh yeah, Brighteon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, Odyssey coming after that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Odyssey, Odyssey is. Odyssey is just processing through the um, the YouTube channel, and will be done within a week, hopefully. Hopefully. We did a video on it, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arrow Man, I guess. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Hmm? I don't know what that is. Sorry. Mm. Arrow Manga Sensei. Don't know. No. But yeah, I guess the only real chill uh, vampire is, is the Count. Uh, and I'm uh, surprised uh, because he has a hand up his ass the whole time. He's still pretty chill. <laughs> God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Morph Box, that's pretty... Like, okay. This has been a thing in in Australia for, like, at least 10 years where flat-chested adult girls can't be in porn because they're coded as being minors. Yeah, that was dumb. And so it's considered legally child porn if it's an of-age woman who has a flat chest. 
fucking Look stupid. I was so ridiculously conservative there. Fucking dumb. Like you have to, you have to have massive tits. You have to, you have to be a sheep farmer's daughter. You have to eat lamb every um, Australia day. I don't know what else is there. Here's the thing: you can get a girl like um, a kiwi small on so, on Twitter. Yeah. She's like four foot ten, and she's like what, like eighty nine pounds or something. She has, she has like she has very small tits, a very small ass, very small waist. She is a tiny woman, and she's like what twenty? Yeah, she has shoe on head's face, but younger. Um, but she's like <laughs> the, yeah, new, the newer version. She, she's literally the newer version of shoe on head. Yeah, like unironically, and shoe on head was the newer version of boxy. So <laughs> just the next model, you know. But basically, too bad taking that thing. Um, I blocked her. Don't even have that in my time. And yeah, she 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 does like OnlyFans stuff. But my my point being is that she is small she is enough and tiny enough that Australia would classify her her pictures and videos as child pornography. Sure it even though she's 20. Bad. Well, good thing she's from New Zealand, though. Is that? No, she's not. She's from America. Oh. Like, I'm pretty sure. She's a Kiwi, so I, I just imagine. No, she's... No, no. But still, though, like, is that not fucking crazy to you? Yeah. Like, fuck. It's, it's, it's pretty double standard bullshit to me. Yeah. Date a petite girl who might be like 35 and oh my god, it's a child somehow. Like, fuck. Man, people are weird about shit. I understand why there's such like, like... Because there's like, this repressed pederasts. <laughs> repressed pedophiles. I'm sure some of it is repressed pe pedophiles. Yeah. Some of it I think though is the fact that people fear pedophiles so much, rightfully so, that they're willing to overcorrect wildly and like ruin other things that are even unrelated. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. They so fucking lolly. stupid. Yeah, but they're erring on the side of caution to the point of ridiculousness. <laughs> I just like petite girls. Re. Yeah, it's funny because like, when you're 16 or when you're even when you're 14, you often think I'm old enough to do it, Whether right? You know. There are definitely people who are like 14 years old who have had sex with adult people and they're like, I wasn't exploited. And then, then they grow up and they're still like, I wasn't exploited. Like they don't feel that way, even though legally they obviously were, right? Yeah. It just depends. But at the same time, you, you have to have a, a standard, the like a, a legal standard, you know what I mean? Like listen, I, I had sex when I was underage. It was also with people who are underage, but still the point stands, right? Ah. Yes, this is what Mil got Milo in trouble. Yeah, Milo said that he was 14 and he was molested by uh, a priest. <laughs> Literally the stereotype, you know, the jo the jokey story. And he's like, I was fine with it, though. And, like, that actually got him cancelled. Yeah. This is a certified fedora conversation. That is a certified oh, come on, Clay Castle. See the cauldron from the city, but all the fire. There we go. I'm out. Nothing left of it. I'm done. Nice. You, you know what I'm saying. Don't be a fucking weirdo. No. It depends on the child. No, because because even if a kid thinks that he can do it when he's underage, he still probably shouldn't. And it should, it should still be illegal, obviously, right? Obviously. It should still be illegal. I'm not taking the fucking libertarian free market of children position. So that's a welcome sight. Yeah, kids also think they can drive at 14. Like, I, I can handle that. It's like, no, you fucking can't. Actually, to be fair, well, I, in the states, they, I, I in knew, the states I, they can. I knew one kid who could drive at 14. Actually, so fuck who. Was it you? No, it was uh, Sean. Huh. That Sean guy whose house disappeared over overnight. Mm. Do you remember that? Ever see a kid with a musket um, and a fire wait. bellows? Okay. Bit of a. There was a guy in my school year named Sean. All right, and he graduated the same year as me. And we were talking, and we were like, listen. I was like, what do you plan to do after school? I was like, oh, I'm going to go to university. He's like, I'm moving away. It's like, okay, cool. And then, like, he lived out on the highway between our hometown and the next town over. Mm -hmm. The other way. The, one, the way further away from us. Mm -hmm. Okay? And this guy named Sean, all right, he's like, I'm, I'm, me and my family, we're moving away as soon as, as soon as we graduated. We're moving, like, immediately after I graduated. It's like, cool, man, cool. You know? Have, you know, have a good life. And so, a few days after graduation, for some reason, I was driving out that way. And so we go out, and I look over where his house is. But the house is gone. 
Like the house itself, it's not like he, he sold the house and moved and his family's gone and now someone else lives there. The house is gone. And there's like a concrete slab where the foundation was. And I'm like, there's no like evidence that it was destroyed and like there's, there's no like wreckage. So it's like they, just, they, just, they, just, they just transported it? It's like the house just fucking vanished. And I'm like, maybe he's an alien. Where did this guy's fucking house go, dude? <laughs> he was an alien. His, his house was a ship. <laughs> That's what it was? Yes. They drove the house away. I was just surprised as to see, like, oh my god. Not only did he move, <laughs> he destroyed his house and took it with him or something. That's right. Yeah. I don't think that's what pack up the house is supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, there are some people who, like, they actually move, they physically move their house to, houses to new locations. It costs a lot, though, to do. Mm. Uh, remember um, Richard? Yeah. His family did that. Oh, really? They, they moved a house from like a, like some other town to where it was in, in our town. Really? Yeah. And I, re I remember, like, I, I would go over to visit him. I was a, I was a kid, right? And I was like, what's going on with, like, your house here? Because, like, it was cut. Like, the floor was cut all the way down. And I was like, why is there, like, a cut down the middle of the living room? Like, a straight line. And, like, why are there, like, like there's, like, these weird drill holes and, like, weird spaces, you know? And he's like, oh, yeah, we had the house moved. And they had, and like the movers had to like cut it in, into like slices and put them on like giant trucks. Yeah. It's like, damn, dude. That's how they do. And like, they kind of fucked it up because like his house wasn't like perfectly lined back up and they put it back in. Oh no. So like, part, like the room has like, had, like a few inches that were like off. And I was like, all right. What do you think of Milo's claims that a lot of gay boys have sex with older men? Creepy if true. I wouldn't be surprised if it was true, uh, uh, but I don't know. If it was? If it was, yeah. Here's the thing. If, someone's, if someone you presented me with evidence that it wasn't true, I'd believe that. If someone sure. presented me with evidence that it was true, I'd believe that too. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> By the way, Dev, after saying anything bad about pedos and then talking about meeting baby Naomi 10 or 15 years ago like with her current conscience and being together is kind of fucked. <laughs> Now you know the truth. <laughs> well, Dev no, because like a sick, sick man. The idea would be like, well, you remember the story, right? Yes. We, we were back in time, but we kept our heads, we kept our, we kept our memories, and our intelligences. It would just be like, we'll just agree to meet up later, you know? Dev is Naomi sexual, basically. <laughs> basically, dude. <laughs> Why can't Can't get I... through. Do you have to like walk on that plank there? Like go back? Yeah, there yeah, you go. I do. That's what you gotta do. Oh god, I've got a groob! I hope you guys uh, understand that we're having we're having fun, goofy conversations here, and this is not meant to be taken as you're, you're anybody's fucking actual opinion on this Dev's, shit. Dev's choice of goofy conversations are extremely odd. Listen here, Dave. You spent your entire 20s talking about pederasts. What changed? I stopped. Yes, why? Because <laughs> you started. <laughs> hey, coffee! Nope, already called the FBI and cyber police. Oh, fuck, I guess we're dead, Dave. I'm taking you down with me. God. A galleon mortar. Do it. Even if the beasts of the wilds won't like it. That's cool, man. But like, takes a lot of setup. We're all canceled. See you in the gulag. Ow. Look at it this way. It's either them or us. Neither them or us, win. Dave. They win too. Our bastion is everybody. Oh game. God, Devo the pedo. Ours. Don't you dare make that a fucking thing. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> Your will has been done. Takes a lot of Make it Dave the Depraved or something. That'll work. Nah, Dave with the pedo just rolls better. I don't know, man. Dave the Depraved is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, <laughs> we'll, we'll, you will just both accept it. <laughs> so here's the difference. The difference is like I mean Depraved and not a Doing pedo. Doing it now. Fuck off. You fucks. Oh God, Pedro Spective. <laughs> Dude, that just makes it sound like I'm a guy named Pedro. Those Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> fixing up the place. <laughs> Pedro's back. 
<laughs> Dave the Slave. <laughs> Mr. Slave. Oh god, fuck you. What is this? Diva the pedo, Dave the depraved. <laughs> god, if those become hashtags, that'll be fucking hilarious. Maybe they oh, I don't get the ideas, Dev. By the way, Dave, you, you can never get another job ever again. Not knowing, knowing you. In fact, this will be how it, how it kind of goes, man. Like, you'll apply for other jobs and be like, Dave, you don't want to do that. You're like, I've had enough of these working conditions, Dev. I'm leaving. And I'm like, Dave, you don't want to do this. And you'll be like, no. And then you'll apply for a job and I'll just start emailing them all the fucking clips. It's like, Dave, you can never leave. Kill you so bad. <laughs> you I can never you fucking dead, leave. Dead, dead. You will be dead, man. No. Yeah, Cocky Power. This game actually has, has some pretty good music in it. All right, now obviously, but yeah. Who's my? You guys keep saying my Sakurajima. Who the fuck is my Sakurajima? I'm looking this name up. My Sakurajima. Main character of the of girl senpai. She's 17 or 18, female, 5'5". Five five. Looks like a bully. Dev, no! That's the way. Yeah, I've heard that too, Bruce. Yeah. He's done what's best for him. Oh, my God. Worry. Good job, Dev. Don't Thanks. you worry. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, Maverick Hunter, I'm actually, one of the new emotes I'll be getting soon will actually be a Dev Eats Popcorn emote. Dev inhales popcorn. We'll all be better off once the past. Are you leaving, Agree? Get out. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Nice. Good job. Nice. 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 Why are you watching the live action door? Isn't that just a porn? The memorial may be Isn't there like a like a like a Dora the Explorer porn with a where obviously of age Spanish or Latina actress gets like dicked down by a bunch of people? That's a thing, isn't it? I'm There's SpongeBob porn. I have nothing to say to you anymore. She said about her age, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I went and that's some heavy-duty hardware. Not exactly the most delicate pairing. Yeah, rule 34, yeah. Dev, why do you know that? Because memes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> People meme shit like this all the time. No secret skill. Yeah, somebody drew Lolly Dev. Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Are we finishing this tonight? There's only a couple shards left. Uh, there's more to the game after that. Should I look it up on the break? Actually, here we do have. We're not. We're not. We're not. We have like 12 minutes left. So I'm gonna look it up. So where? Are you, what level are you going to? <clears throat> okay, hold on. You fuck. Burstone Quarry. Okay. Uh, game facts. There's only one more, two more levels. We might as well finish it then. Oh, really? Okay. Hold on. Bastion. Where's the guides? Walkthrough. Okay. What did you say? Burststone Quarry? B U R stone. Brew stone? Oh. Everything you B U R, not B R U. <laughs> Burstone quarry. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone quarry. Okay. After Burstone quarry, back at the bastion. Yeah, there's Burstone quarry, then Azen Urzendra gate. Okay. Keep going. And then, uh... Oh, there's another place. Zoltan's Hollow. 
Back to the Bastion. The Tazel Terminals. That's more than one or two levels. Hold on. The Bastion, you're in the Monument. That's the end of it. And inside the Monument's the end? So we have four levels left. Yeah. Might as well be a tonight. God damn it. Too precious for this. Oh, fuck off. Too precious. Not precious. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow of the calamity. Same goes for its name. Bro, Stone. Bro. Bro. Bruh. Wasn't Dev gonna do a playthrough of some random game using an old game fax printout? I still want to do that at some point. Like, so the story was, um, the family computer when I was young was in a different room than the the consoles, and so if I wanted to really know where to go in a game, I'd, I'd have to not only look up something on on uh, because we, we had limited computer time, limited internet time when I was a kid, so we had to look up. Um, I had to look up. A, an, a, a, an FAQ, and then print it off, and then bring it down to to the uh, the game room and and um, play while I was like, like play the uh, the game. Usually at like N64 games, sometimes GameCube games, but um because that was just when I was still at home that that era of time when I was a kid. So I was I I still have this binder full of old game facts printouts from like 20 years ago, and. Basically, at some point, I had to go back to my uh, my hometown for something. And my mom's like, listen, here's a box of your old shit. Either you take it now, or I'm throwing it out. And I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll at least take it and look through it. I mean, I probably don't need anything because it's been so... It's been like, how many, however many years it's been. I haven't needed it so far. I probably don't need it. So I was like, fine, I'll take a look at it, you know, even just for old time's sake. And, and in it, I found this, this Pikachu binder. And inside was a bunch of games, of game facts. Of various games I was playing back in the day, and like my handwritten notes in there from when I was younger on like how to do X Y Z in the game. I was like, oh geez, I still I still have these kicking around somewhere, right? Eh? Haven't printed a game fact since 2000. Yeah, for me, the final one in that book is probably about 2004, give or take, you know, maybe 2003, something like that, you know. Hydrate, buddy. Rattletails fill the place with holes. <sighs> Cheers. Rattletails kept tunneling in to snack on windbags. Without those windbags. Do you ever print things out just to read them easier? Uh, no. But I will definitely. Like, I, I discovered I have a preference for doing certain types of work on my computer rather than on my phone or out here in the studio. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like you're probably quiet right now because you're trying to really get this game done, eh? Yep. <laughs> Dave's got his gamer face on. Some people got trampled at the, at the Fortnite music concert. Yeah, didn't like one kid die? I saw a video of a, of like, there was a dude who jumped into a crowd and he got, he was crowd surfing. Like, like the, the actual performer was crowd surfing. And while he was crowd surfing, he demanded that the crowd kick the shit out of this 10 year old in the crowd somewhere. What the hell is wrong? And then that 10 year old died. Wow. The, the, the crowd, the, the cow, the crowd beat him to death. I'm sorry, where was this? I think it was, was it in Texas? I think it was in Houston? I think it was in Houston. I think. I, I, I only saw the story this morning because it just happened. Wow. And there's like, and there was like pictures of like a stampede happening as like people were like rushing out after, after shit started getting real. Like there were people who were like getting trampled, like other people got trampled too. There were people, like one, one dude was doing CPR like in time to the beat of the music. <laughs> wow. And like, there was a uh, an, an, an ambulance that needed to show up. Okay, there's footage of it. There's footage of it. I had the footage. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it uh, later. I picked it up this morning. But um, there's there's a, at least there's a picture of an ambulance trying to drive through the crowd to get to some of these people, and the crowd stops the ambulance, and then people start climbing on top of the ambulance, and there's like people twerking on top of the ambulance, while while the music keeps playing. 
So basically, Zoomers are gonna just kill themselves. In any case, there were over ten cardiac arrests during the concerts. Yeah, and then like by the end, like the the cops showed up on horseback to like crack down and to get shit under control. So people started like stampeding, and they like just like there was a stampede of people that destroyed one of the the entry gates to, to the venue, and just like just like pushed it over and tore it apart. And they just ran through it, and like. The security was like trying to fight these guys. It was like a giant wave of people, and there were like cops on horseback, like like riding through, beating them and stuff. Good. And, and everyone, everyone's just like everyone's just scattering and running for their lives. And I was like, holy fuck, dude. Yep. Welcome to your twenties, apparently, when you're a moron. I mean, I'm not I'm not necessarily surprised. It seems like um, music concerts really get rowdy sometimes. You know. Um. No, that's 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 really bad. That's that's. Yeah. Horrible. Like when people when, when people destroyed the, uh, the the big arch that 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 served as an entry into the venue, um, the, and the, it fell over and everyone like fell with it. They were all like they were all like climbing on top of each other to try to get out and like jumping on each other and shit. Like people got fucked sure up got during that event. To fuel the voyage to the motherland. This was a Fortnite concert. <laughs> You know, if any reason for Fortnite <laughs> to get banned, it's that. God. And also yeah. for, for anyone under 25 to not be let out after dark. Sorry, bad. It's usually not so rowdy that they kick a child to death. Yeah, I know. It's, that's, no, dude, it's, it's so, not. It's so fucked up, dude. Well, now the quarry's all yeah. tied up. Concerts aren't usually that that batch insane. These people sounded like they had taken every drug out of the sun. <laughs> but still, like, can you imagine listening? Like, you're you're at a concert, right? You're at a concert, and the guy you're listening to, okay? The guy you're listening to, who's putting on the music, he's like, I want everyone to beat this child. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck? What? Who is this person? Seriously. Do you ever do anime conventions? No, never done one. I, I've been to actually. You've been to Anime North. Anime North, which uh, there's I videos of it up there. I put them up today. Really? Yes. Oh. oh god! Oh god! It was in at Houston at Astro World Music Fest. Jesus! And who was the guy that asked people to beat the the kid in the crowd? And. Do you they think floss over the how, how how likely do you think they are to die because the mom's gonna find out who they are and what if he was his own kid? Fuck. Like what if he's just like this shitty uh, divorcee mm -hmm. and he's like you beat the shit out of that kid. Oh my I don't want to play, play child sport it's anymore. Him. I've come to warn you, he says. The Travis Scott concert is under siege. Oh my god. Let it fall. You should not go back. Right, fuck off, we're going back. Fuck you. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Lovely. Damn. So... I noticed there was a couple of entries. Is there is there any is there any information on who that was? Yeah, we'll, we'll have a break in a second here. Okay. Travis Scott asks crowd to kill ten year old. Is th is that gonna be the headline? Will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. Oh God, this place got fucked up, didn't it? His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Damn, dude. Too bad for that. <laughs> Too bad. The results showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. The kids got to go in through the back. I'm looking this up real quick. I should have told them sooner about all this. Unfortunately, eight killed after crowd surge at Texas Festival. And they started 
Cardiac arrest. Some casualties are as young as 10. Holy fuck, dude. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Somehow, some way, he sends those who are a packing. Jesus, dude. Us. It didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. Yeah. Hey, hold on. We find each other as the dust settles. So, okay. Then I tell him why. So, no, 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 no. I will. I want. I want to do this cutscene first. Once you're back in town, I'm gonna read this. For the calamity. It was Salandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. Damn. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. Your place got fucked. Yep. How do you upgrade now? You can't. Well, shit. Okay, so, here. So, people started, uh, there was basically a, a there was a surge. Put this disease in remission. There was, a, there was a, sur a crowd surge, everyone pushed forward. People got crushed up against the stage. He kept going after people were like, Started having like cardiac arrest, and they were like, they were, they were being treated to. He kept singing, he, he kept performing. Wow. Um, there was one dude. He he was still performing, and then one guy was in the crowd yelling at him to stop because people were dying around him. Because and there's like people on the ground like being tended to in front of him as he just keeps performing. Yeah. Um, there. Yeah. Scott appears to continue singing as a person on the ground is being attended to. Later in the show. Scott reportedly continued hyping the crowd to rage, saying, y'all know what we came to do. The concept of raging is being noted at Saturday morning as a staple of the rappers at live shows. And <laughs> Say what you want, but the foul behavior of some of those who were in there yesterday is a direct result of the rager aesthetic he's been promoting for years. So yeah, basically, uh, he hyped up the crowd as people were dying in it. And it, it kind of seems like he knew what was going on because like his promoter was trying to get his, the, the, the promoter was trying to get him to stop. You know that Travis Scott is actually like thirty. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, he's in his late twenties, early thirties. Wild. He should know better. Fucked. He's fucked. He's so done. Here, I'll post this article in the chat if you want to read it. And if one of you guys, maybe Shogoth or Torvar or, or any other mod or anybody else in the chat, really, if you could take that link and DM it to me on Discord, I'd appreciate that too. Just to, because like, I, I don't have access to, to my Discord right now on this computer, so just link it back around to me. And I'll, I'll do, maybe I'll even do a video on this. It's fucking hell, dude. Right. What, that's some, this is some crazy bullshit. Yeah, it Holy is. shit, dude. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Wow. We'll come back with the end of Bastion, guys. <laughs> Maybe we won't kill some children along the way. I don't know about that.